Exclusive, David Gandler, CEO of Fubo TV. Good afternoon to you, David. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you, Wilfred. Um, so, so, so many topics to, to, to touch on. I guess my first big long-term broad-ranging one is, uh, do, do you see yourself as always sort of sub-licensing and amalgamating other people's contents or as, as, as a company that's going to be bidding for exclusive rights to broadcast sports uh, in the medium to long term? Yeah, well, uh, currently we're a virtual MVPD, so we continue to aggregate the most important content out there for our audiences. And I guess there's been a, a clear advantage to that, judging by your, your great performance so far to date, though. Is there a risk, uh, I guess this is what I'm getting at moving forward, when the likes of NBC, parent company, of course, of CNBC, start to, to clearly focus more of their sports and their UK soccer onto their streaming platform themselves as opposed to broadcast platform, maybe meaning that in the future they won't want to sub-license to you? Uh, you know, I don't think that's a risk uh, at the moment. Um, as you know, sports content is very expensive. And in order to monetize that content, it's, it's best when you're fully distributed, both from a, an affiliate sales perspective and a licensing perspective, as well as an advertising perspective. So we're very comfortable with the deals that we have today, and we have great partnerships with all the great media companies. And uh, you know, we think that that continues going into the future. Investors were clearly disappointed, at least on your stock, with the announcement that Dish and DirecTV were joining forces. And I know you're planning a sports book. How big of a right. threat and was, a, was that a blow to you? Yeah, so uh, for our business model, I think this was clear validation of what we've been saying uh, over the last uh, eight months. Uh, I don't believe this is a blow at all. I think the most important thing for Fubo is that we're able to link the video data with the betting data stream. That allows us to, under one platform, really be able to create a seamless user experience. So think about when you're watching a Lakers game and you can immediately get a bet slip uh, with that Lakers game, or when you change a channel uh, to a hockey game and the bet slip changes again. Uh, these are the types of things that we're going to be able to do uh, with the data that we have because we will be regulated. This is something that will be very difficult to achieve uh, for video companies and sports books that try and partner together because you cannot very easily uh, provide each other with the right data, right? There are privacy rules. There are also regulatory reasons why that can't be done. So we feel we're actually well ahead of the, ahead of the game key for us that this was actually validated uh, very recently. In, in three years' time, David, do you expect more of, in your, more of your revenue to come from gambling as opposed to uh, viewing? Yeah, I mean, our approach is going to be the same as it has been for video. Uh, back in 2018, we had a 1% market share of the virtual MEPD market. Uh, in 2019, 3%, and in 2020, about 5%. Our, 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 our goal with uh, sports betting is to create a flywheel uh, open up the top of the funnel. And, you know, we think we'll continue to take some share uh, as the business continues to grow. Why do you think the stock has been so volatile and all over the place? Is, is it that retail traders have embraced that as they've, they've come into this market and you've seen such major gains and then really steep declines? Uh, you know, I can't speak to the movement of the stock. What I can say is that Kubo has raised guidance three times in three quarters. We've over-delivered on every KPI, subs, revenue, and ARPU. Uh, we continue to benefit <clears throat> from very strong tailwinds, secular decline of television, the shift of TV ad dollars to connected devices, and very shortly we'll be uh, focused also on the wagering uh, component of our business. So at the moment, the tailwinds are strong. We think as we continue to execute, uh, you know, things should continue to play in our favor. Are there more sports you wish to add, David? Uh, more focus, perhaps, on the domestic sports going forward, and, and flip it the other way: more markets externally that you perhaps can can move into as well. Yeah, no, I think the uh, the correct answer is all of the above. I think we've done a great job uh, in the back half of 2020, particularly in fourth quarter, where we added about 18 percent of net additions. And if you think about the traditional attrition uh, of cable we added about 6.8% of the 1.35 million people that left that ecosystem uh, into the streaming space. So we're very comfortable where we are today. We have a great package. We have over 50,000 live sporting events, the most expansive uh, RSN portfolio, uh, and also the largest football package combined for, with uh, NFL uh, and college football. So we feel really good about where we are, and we're looking uh, forward to uh, 2021. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.